morning, Phyllis. Good morning, sis. Have a seat. Have some of your tea. Oh, you already poured it for me. Thank you, honey. You know what? I've been doing a lot of thinking this morning. You have? Mm -hmm. You know, I've been thinking that it's time for us to honor the profession of teaching. As a society, I mean. Oh, yes. You know what? At the heart of education is the teacher. After 82 years, I've decided that I've got experience to back that up. Of course you do. Well, teachers are on the front lines every day, and a lot of times they're under huge amounts of stress and not enough support. Kind of like your girdle. Did you know this? We are losing 50% of the teachers that enter the teaching career. 50%? It's half. Well, I know it's half, Phyllis. I used to teach math. Oh, I'd help you. I just don't think that people understand all that goes into the teaching profession. Oh, heavens no. Oh, it's such a demand in life, very little downtime. You know, I've already had seven naps today. Yes, unless you're a teacher, you don't realize how much work goes into it every day. Phyllis. Oh, eight, eight naps today. Eight naps today. Thank you. Teachers make miracles happen every day. Yes, they do. You know, in, in classrooms, oftentimes without the resources they need and oftentimes with overcrowded classrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, teachers don't get a say. They accept their students as they are when the minute they walk through that door. Well, they have to. You they know, don't have a choice, Phyllis. Well, last week I got an undercooked meatloaf and I sent it back. Well, the students aren't quite like meatloaf, but I get what you're saying, Phyllis. Teachers can't send those pieces of meatloaf back out the door. Well, they just have to teach them. That's right. Oh, well, yeah. The meatloaf shows up without a pair of mittens and take the meatloaf. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about the impact that the teacher has on every single person. Everybody. Yep. I mean, think back to when you were a kid. Who was your favorite teacher? Miss Hanning. Mm. Mine was Mrs. Zilgy. <laughs> you know, it's not just imparting knowledge onto your students, it's about establishing a connection, a trusting, loving connection with those students. And you know who does it well? Who? The school district of the Menominee area. Oh, yes they do. <gasps> They yes, they do. Form connections with their students like you wouldn't believe it. And you know who's learning to do that? Who? Oh, those pre-service teachers at UW Stout. Oh, through that arts integration menominee. Absolutely. Oh, yes. And it's through that partnership with the college and the school district that those teachers and those students at that school district are going to encounter a real passion uh -oh. for true learning. Oh, our grandchildren are so lucky to be going to the Menominee mm. School District. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Let's toast to that. Let's toast to that. Mm.